to the day in the life of a television news producer. The day starts off with a meeting to discuss what stories will be covered that day. Reporters are given their assignments and sent to work. Producers then begin thinking of possible ways to make that story better, with breakouts and additional information. Then it's time to see what's happening in the world and across the nation. They browse through the Associated Press news wires, NBC News Channel, which is a service provided to affiliates by the Network for Video, CNN Pathfire, and the countless emails, phone call notes, and official web pages that are all a part of their daily routines. Then it's time to begin putting those stories in a rundown. Producers use a program made by Abbott called iNews to put information into two column scripts. Those scripts exist as slugs in each rundown. We can move those slugs around depending on where they will best fit in the finished newscast. They also add or subtract time from each story depending on how much will be needed to tell the story. Producers then must choose how to present the information, whether using a full screen with text, correlating video, sound bites, or maps. We choose the type of camera shot, whether it be using an over-the-shoulder shot, a camera shot with a plasma TV showing a graphic, or a simple single shot with just the anchor. That information is also entered into the rundown for the director to utilize later. Depending on the needs of the story, producers coordinate live shots with reporters, find photographers who can run a live truck, and let directors know what's going on. Every word that is spoken in a newscast is carefully scripted by producers. Changing one word can entirely change the meaning of a story. A half hour before the show, the producer checks all graphics to ensure they are error-free. That's also the time scripts are printed for the director and anchors. But what about when breaking news happens a few minutes to showtime? Producers rush to write it up, consider deleting other stories to provide the time necessary to present the breaking news, and stay in constant communication with the entire production staff and anchors about what's happening, all the while trying to write the breaking news from information they have collected. Once the show begins, you hope that the technology all works, because every now and then, something breaks. On occasion, you will have a generic live shot to hit at an exact time. The producer must count down the anchor to the exact moment to hit, but even then, the live shot you are going to might be frozen. What then? Video is frozen. Yes, you're right. I'm still going to count them down. Oh, okay. and, uh... You got new? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, we're going to have to take him. Okay, okay, we got him. I need a VO in for Matt. It's not in yet. One minute to Matt. Next on the news at noon, the changes ahead in features for Iowa from the governor at the state capitol this morning. Plus, a local apartment catches fire with four children inside. And the debate runs afoul whether it's okay to raise chickens in one eastern Iowa city. Plus, meteorologist Riley Lone has your storm track seven-day forecast. It is 12 o'clock. Time for the news at noon. Name best news 30 seconds. This is you may have to touch a little bit, with Sunny Lane and meteorologist We're taking it either way. When all else fails, we the roll the video early. At noon. Good afternoon on this Tuesday. I'm Tara We're Thomas in for 15. Sunny Lane as she continues maternity leave. Governor Chad Culver giving his condition of the state 10, speech this morning nine, on the main theme, the eight, state budget and jobs. Seven, With our six, top story, reporter five, Matt Breen has a wrap. Four, He's three, live from Des Moines. Two, Matt. One. Good afternoon from Des Moines and the state the capitol, where Governor Chet Culver in his condition of okay, I'm getting off the phone with the state faces fiscal problems, but he defended the steps he has taken to advance the state of Iowa amidst the most dramatic economic downturn since the Great Depression. Okay, I'm going to put the video in a couple more times if that's cool with you. Resilient yeah. because the people of Iowa are resilient. He said they weathered floods you and got tornadoes, in there now. and then turned around and asked lawmakers to commit a significant portion of iJobs money to flood recovery. iJobs has created thousands of jobs, Culver says, and is at the heart of his top priority this legislative session, job creation. This morning, Culver hit back. Is borrowing $750 million, and critics say the governor has spent the state...
politicians it's nothing, we can't do a thing about it. appear to be confused about our current budget situation. Well, let's end the confusion. Here are the facts. Today, I'm going to put the budget the, uh, is balanced, and it has been balanced every single day that I've been oh, on the privilege to be the governor of this state. The budget this morning is smaller than the one it was on the day that I took office. And this didn't happen, as you know, by accident. It happened because we made the tough choices. We managed the budget responsibly and effectively. One, two, three, also on Culver's ambitious agenda this session, restoring $100 million to local school districts that suffered when the governor slashed state aid in his across-the-board budget cuts last fall. He also wants lawmakers to fast-track a bill that would allow the state to apply for $175 million in federal education funds. One problem, though, it would tie teacher evaluation to student test scores and remove the cap on charter schools. There's a lot to get done, and to save money, lawmakers cut the session from 30 100 days Jason. back to 80 days. So, indeed, every day down here in Des Moines counts. At the state capitol in Des Moines, Iowa, what? I'm Matt Green. Now back to you. Sounds like it. All right. Thank you, Matt Green, from our sister station in Susan, oh, yeah. KTIB. State legislators are already working to pass a bill by the end of the week to bring more federal funding to Iowa. Details about that coming out in our next half hour. For the rest of the show, the producer keeps a constant eye on the back time, or amount of time remaining in the show, compared to the time it would take to read every story. Based on how heavy the show is, certain stories might have to be dropped. As long as the show ends on time and people were informed about the news of the day, producers know they did their job well. But the duties of producing don't end with the newscast. Everyone has to post web stories throughout the day, post video from the newscast to the website, resolve any issues that happened that day, and find ways to prevent them in the future, and be thinking of follow-ups for the next day. That's what it takes to produce a daily newscast. We hope you